Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome to the Irony of Gaming, and we're back at it again with the Counterside tutorial and doing this uh, playthrough with a new account. Now, um, I am still using the emulator. <laughs> um, you know, so there may be a chance of like some odd things happening. Um, also too, I, I just wanted to say too, the, for the part three video, I had to temporarily take that one down. A viewer, a kind viewer, had uh, let me know that there was a uh, black screen with it to some of the footage. So what I had to do is that I had to unfortunately cut that part of it out of the, of the video, and then I had to basically re-upload it again. But not to worry, because I'm gonna explain it here on this video. And you know what? Now that I think about it, it's probably better if I do it on this video anyway. So the, one of the first things that I ended up that um, ended up was getting cut out was about the blue tickets <clears throat> so we're gonna go to the blue tickets section here now what I was saying before about the blue tickets was that it's better to do uh, to reach 150 and now what I had did with the part three video was that I did attempt to try to get this unit here only because she does about 10% damage to bosses. And I think I think that this, this also expands towards the rest of the team when I had last went to this unit. Permanently increases anti-boss damage. Every 12 seconds stacks to five immediately contains max stacks hmm. yeah so I, I'm, I'm not sure like maybe it's she's causing the damage only or maybe she this is a passive that helps out the entire team either either or does extra damage to bosses you know but I, I found that ability to be fascinated so I wanted to try and roll for this unit now I didn't get the unit, unfortunately, but that's okay. It's not it's not the end of the world. But basically what I was saying anyway is that um the blue tickets you want to have at least 150 for the blue tickets. Save at least that. Until then you probably shouldn't roll anything. Until you have the 150 net. You know, it's like a it's like a safety net, you know. Now, the other thing that I was mentioning before, too, is that if you manage to run out of these tickets, let's say, for instance, let's do this, right? Let's spend all of these blue tickets. And let's roll. Okay, so now we did that, right? Now let's say we are, we're out of blue tickets. Oh no, we didn't reach the pity. However, we have quartz. As enticing as that could be, do not, and I repeat, <laughs> do not um, record, uh, what is this? Um, don't select this, the, the quartz. <laughs> so from this recording right here, this, don't spend this on quartz. Quartz is used for like missions and stuff. Um, you could, and plus the game will always give you more blue tickets now and then too, so you'll be fine. <laughs> so yeah, just you know, save up on your courts, use the courts for doing extra missions when you need to, you know, if you need to, and just be patient and build this up to 150, and then you'll choose the unit that you that you'll want. And so we're still we still have the 150 um, free pulls and stuff like that, so. I think we can only roll a few more times before we'll reach our 150 limit. Remember to always do this too every day. You get a free summon. Wait a minute, what's this one? Oh, the custom pickup. Okay, so the custom pickup is an interesting feature that they've given us. It's been out for quite a while now, but basically what happens is the game lets you choose any SSR 
that's in the pool that's currently in the pool that you want so rather than rather than waiting for banners like you know waiting for banners to see what they're gonna do you know posting them up here on the banner you can just go here and you can select a unit you can select a personal banner it's basically a custom banner so you can select what unit that you want but you can't select all three you can only select one at a time so once you get that unit as you attempt to roll with the blue tickets then um you know once you get the unit that's it like you'll have two slots left and then you get to choose another unit that you want and hey if you wanted to get multiple copies of the same unit you can do that. At least I think you can. You should, yeah, you should be able to. If anybody has ever, I, I haven't really tried like a, I haven't tried the custom pickup in a long time. But if anybody who has recently tried this already, um, if you can let me know in the comment section if you were able to get a second unit from here. Or would they let you select the same unit again once you got got it the first time with the using this method? Anyways, um, so yeah, don't spend the quartz on your banners. Save those for getting extra, you know, extra Eternium because that's going to come in handy now and then. And you can sometimes use it to get the black tickets. Because this will, especially if you're free to play, this could be your best time to do that. And the game is pretty generous in giving out more courts. So, you should be pretty set there. So, as you can see, we went into the calendar section and we signed in and we ended up getting this. Unfortunately, because I started a little bit late, the origin uh, anniversary part of the countdown section is going to disappear but at least i will get this fusion core here which is okay but this is the most important one that you don't want to miss you don't want to miss this because it has the again it has the awaken ticket it has your ship that you can choose from and you know it's got some other ship components and an operator is this a selector or a randomizer Oh, it's a selector. Okay, this is a selector operator. Now, I want to talk about this too. When you get the selector operator, there are a lot of operators out there and they have many different abilities and some are interesting while others is just, eh, it's okay. But as a new, as a new player, I would suggest to get Kim Hana. You cannot go wrong with Kim Hana. And let me see, do I, do they give you a free one when you start out? Oh, I see. Okay, so you gotta, you have to clear the mainstream episode three. Okay, no problem. We could probably get there. Probably. All right, let's see what we got though. Okay, so we did the sign in. So we did end up getting another free SSR ticket. This is like a randomizer, so we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna get this. Okay. Now, so we talked about the blue tickets from the from the third part of the video, from the part three. And then we talked about the quartz and the rolls. Now, this is what I was mentioning before too. When you go into the simulation, so as soon as you start. You would go into the growth uh, section and then see, this is what I was saying before. Your simulations have now replenished back to two as the limit. So we want to, so you want to make sure that you immediately do those because you don't want to miss out on the awesome stuff that they got. Now, before I even do that, let's go here. And hold on, give me one second. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I just wanted to check something in the settings. I thought it was something wrong with the uh, brightness, but 
never mind. <laughs> it was a false alarm. Yeah, that's good to know. But anyways, yeah, so we went into the simulation missions, right? So we're going to go into the simulations and we're going to start doing those real quick. Just to make sure we get our materials for the day. Because we're definitely going to need them. But before I do that, I wanted to see if I can level up my unit. So as you can see, I have most of them up to level 40. Some is still at level 30. But from there, I, I made sure I increased one of my units to level 50 just so she could do that extra damage and give a little bit of extra backup in, t in case things get hairy. So I, what I want to do is I want to check something. Okay, so we can upgrade this again, which is going to be fine. We could do this. Okay, so we do have a few of this. Hmm. Tell you what I will do though. I will immediately upgrade Yang. So yeah, basically what I was saying too is that you know, so do your sim um your simulation missions and what the last thing what I was showing before too before we do the simulation mission was that I was talking about the supply operations. It's in the request section. So the supply. So this is what I was talking about before in the third part of the video. The supply section, this is basically where you will do most of your farming in. This section right here. And this is where you're going to get the majority of getting your skills and leveling up your units and increasing their star ranks. This is the place where you're going to use, where you're going to spend most of your time as a new player to farm a bunch of these. But then as the game naturally gives you more of the, what is it, the uh, EXP contracts that you can use to level up your units. They're going to give you a lot more of those in like the sub streams and the main stories and other event missions that you do. So as you progress more and more into the story and you level up more, you're going to be seeing less of this. You're, going to, you're not going to really be using it as much, but that that's going to take you like a it, it'll take like a while, like a long while before you don't really need much from this location you can always use things here with the credits but yeah this is but as a free to play and you know even when you get to the mid level you're still going to be using these areas here because this is actually quite nice and honestly even when you're at the end game you can still farm these it's always good to stack up on stuff you know because you will run out if you're not careful you can run out very fast if you're not careful with this and also what I was talking about too in the last video was was basically explaining the skills and basically what I was saying is that um let me see something did I where's Yang Okay, so basically what I was saying before was, because I, I don't have enough right now, but I'll go into the skills section. And what I was saying is that when you get to the unit and you want to upgrade their skills, now you're going to ask yourself, okay, which one do I upgrade first? Well, I would suggest most times the passive skill or the special skill first. Now, in this case, I'm going to do the special. I'm going to do the passive skill first for this unit, and then we'll do the special skill, and then the ultimate skill. Now, you can put the for now. You know, as you're starting out, you could put the ultimate skill to at least two level two, and then you'll be you'll be fine for now. And then this right here the, for the basic attacks, you don't really have to do anything with this. You, it's I mean, it, it's still important, but. It, it could be the very last thing that you upgrade so the basic skills is the last thing that you that you can upgrade but out of the other three 
So what I usually like to do is I like upgrade in the passive skills first and then the skill, um, the special skills and then do the ultimate. And then lastly do the basic skill and then the unit is complete. Now, <sighs> what happens is, <clears throat> what happens is that the limit break conditions, in order to limit break, which is increasing the stars, you need to, you need to um, upgrade the stars first. So if you want to max out your skills to level five across the board, you have to complete the, uh, limit, the limit break condition for the unit. So they need the six stars. But like I was saying before in those other videos, you don't really need to rush with this. Take your time because it's a marathon. And also, too, what I was saying, oh, back to fear. Um, but what I was saying, too, is that uh, what units should you start leveling up first? And yeah, we're going to go here. What units should you level up first? And my suggestion is what I usually what I have done in the past when I was ranking up my units, I went by the 10 level rule. That's what I like to call it, the 10 level rule. What does that mean? Well, you make sure you have eight of the units that you are going to level up because these units you, you want to like whichever whichever units that you have make sure like you know you choose which ones that you want to be a part of your main roster which is right here you know in the squads because these units are going to progress you uh, uh, throughout the story to a, to a certain extent and then once you get a lot more um, resources then what you can do is that you can start leveling up the other units that that you know fits your fancy but what I was saying is that do the 10 level rule is that you'll start by the ones that you you know the ones that's part of your team now what I suggest is you would level up the Yang first and then level up the awaken that you get whichever awaken that you got level them up because they're going to do a lot of the work and if you have units like maybe Ainz you can start leveling them up but try to try to divvy it up so you do like I guess like what level 20 for Yang and then you could do a level 20 for the Awaken and then do level 10s on the rest of the group just so that they get enough of the EXP because every single one of them is going to contribute to your success in the missions that you tackle and then you just keep going by it you know now sometimes you can break this rule a little bit in trying to you know strengthening your awaken just a little bit more just so that they can do a lot more of the carrying which i'm going to actually do that myself okay so i don't really have enough to really do something like that but eh, i'll leave it be for now and oh and there was another thing that I was mentioned in two uh the last part of what i was saying so when you start the game, they do give you a lot of buffs. And because we have the Annie event happening, this is what we're getting so far. So these are the two buffs that we're getting so far. I could have sworn that this had lower a lower timer at one point, but who knows? I guess not. But yeah, so we're getting like salary negotiations. This is what we use to level up and we're getting a discount. But now we have a Kim Hana support. So because you are a new player and you're below the level 60, you get all of this fantastic buffs. So now you have 50% cost when using the negotiations to level up your units. And I'd like to say like, definitely take advantage of this because you can easily rank up quick and you can start catching up throughout the game's content and it, it also lowers the battle cost which means the battle cost basically means the eternium that you spend to do missions and stuff like and all that and yeah that was that was basically that was basically it 
on what I have mentioned. The rest of the video was just, you know, like simulation stuff and just showing you what techniques you could use. But without further ado, let's get on with it. All right, so I don't think that I ranked up too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the safer route and I'm going to use that. Easy, look at that, we're leveling up and we're at level 10 already. Now, here's one thing you could do. So now you see that this is it, right? Now what you could do is you can go for another another three and it will cost you 180 quarts. So if you didn't, let's say, um, remember the technique that I was telling you guys about, uh, keeping the free 1000 and then later on the game boosts you up to another, like it boosts you up enough, it, it gives you enough quarts so you can have 3000. Enough to get another free SSR when you roll the 30. The, you know, the 30 temples or whatnot, you know, Roll three times, you get 10 units, you get the gist. But you could, instead of doing that, you could just use the extra quartz that you got for these. And you can level up a lot faster. And hey, if you do it enough times, who knows? Maybe you can rank up to 100. But let's see, let's see, let's see if we could do this enough times. I think that they, you can only do it one time though. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, you can only do it one time. Okay, so yeah. So, you can only do this one time. And what does it tell you? Because I was wondering that, did they have something on the shop? Oh yeah, you could buy something in the shop. Now, you could do this, but honestly, if you, as so long as you're doing your stuff every single day, you're doing the daily simulations every day, you don't necessarily need to purchase any of this. Any of this at all. That costs course, you don't need to purchase anything in this. Now, there are times like, let's say if you're, let's say for instance, your, your account has reached end game. You're at end game and you know, you didn't get exactly what you wanted for you know specific gear types that requires the set binaries you could use this but only use these these two things as a last resort like at like if it was absolutely crucial that you needed to do this that you needed to get these then you can go ahead and do it but only as a last resort Okay, so now we did do a few of the operations. Um, let's see, let's go to operations and do, finish up the rest of the training simulation. I wonder if I'm strong enough to do this now. Okay, let's see. I think she has enough. Oh yeah, we definitely got enough. Okay, level 60. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna, gonna break the rule a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, let's get them. Up to at least 40. Okay, so we're gonna get Lin Zen up there. I don't know why I keep doing that. Right. Okay, that's fine. She's close to it. So make us stronger. And. Alright, let's see what happens.
보내는 날씨가 흐르며 일류의 의지가 내 피를 지키고 있어. Yeah, I'm actually kind of glad that I got. I ended up getting a um an awakened, an awakened. Uh, hold on, let me see something. Uh, I think the volume is a little too loud. Okay, there we go. All right, yeah, but I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of glad that I got a ranger awakened. Oh yeah, this doesn't look like it's gonna work. Yeah, okay. So, the trick to this, you need higher DPS. Because they're just going to go straight for the ship. So that's fine. We'll be, we'll be able to tackle this another time. Where we get a lot stronger. Alright. We can't do the level 70. Okay. Okay, so we did do our daily our daily simulations. Now remember the counter pass, they come out with counter passes. You don't necessarily have to buy the pass. I mean, if you want the unit, yeah, you'll have to purchase the pass. However, you don't need to just to get the regular free rewards. And they give you quite some interesting stuff. Some quartz, 300 quartz. Yeah. It's a lot. It goes all the way up to 50. So I do encourage you guys to do this. Now, I know you guys saw me what I did in changing it. So... Um, the one thing that you don't want and you don't want to happen is, let's say, I'll do this again. Let me switch it up for you guys. So when you come across things that says the APT cores with these, with these specific daily missions on the counter pass, do not do these. I do not suggest that you do this. Why? Because you can save, because that 10 could be the very thing that you needed to increase the the limitation stars for your unit so i would save as much of, the, of these as possible and not to mention again let me just remind you guys that within september or maybe even later a little bit later than that they're going to come out with another update which will completely replace this system here so instead of having three separate different types of apt cores you're going to get one that fits all so you're gonna get atp apt cores that are going to fit all so all the remaining ones that you have i would think that they are going to they're going to re they're going to rework it so that wh whichever remaining ones that you do have will become the new form of it so be sure to stack up on these so now so now if this keeps happening, unfortunately, you probably will have to keep doing this, which is 20,000. I mean, you don't necessarily have to do these, these specifically, because you there are other methods that you can do this to get more things. But personally, for me, I just like doing this because it's easier, because the missions that they do give you is a lot easier to complete. So we're going to change that. Oh man, they're really getting a lot of money out of me, huh? Look at that. Uh-oh. Oh, I can't change anymore. Okay, yeah, so they give you eight times that you can't change it. So that's fine. I'm just going to skip that. But I will do the 100k. Okay, so we got to perform battles. So when you perform battles, it's pretty much saying, like, do any mission that you want. So do any mission that involves fighting. And you'll end up getting this done. And of course, you could always do the PvP missions. That is always good. Ah, the world map. We're going to talk about that later on. Okay, so... 
craft gear once. Yes, we could do that, actually. Craft gear three times. Yeah, we could do that. Oh, yeah, that's right. And we did unlock the workshop. So, I know you guys were probably wondering from the last video. Okay, we're getting through the content. And we're just... Yes. But... Yeah, so we were going through the whole content and all of this, and we barely had any gear, so how do we get the gear? Well, this is one of them. You can craft it. Unfortunately, you can't escape out of this, so they're, they're going to make you do it. And then you'll get like a random set of gear. This game likes to be random, so it will give you like random gear and, and things. And this is what you get like, this is like the end game stuff. And this is why I encourage you guys that when you unlock your raids, to do your raids, because this is where you can use your currency, your raid currencies, to get the tier 5 to 7. Then you get exclusive gears, which is for specific units. And these are where you can make your APT course. And also your fusion course. Be careful with these because, you know, this whole system is probably going to change eventually too because of, you know, the change with the APT system, which they'll change eventually. But the tuning cores, you want to make sure that you have a nice amount of the APTs. Because this, this is where you're going to get your reactors and stuff. But that's, again, it's, you know, end game stuff. It's where you get your materials for the ships. And this is where you can also get more um, EXP cards. And, um, you know, EXP for your operators for when you unlock them. You can also get these for the skills. Okay, so now, so we did our dailies and now we did a little bit of the counter pass. You know, again, I suggest that you guys try to finish this as much as you can. It, I mean, if you can't, if you, if you can't finish it all, that's fine. At least finish, I'd say maybe four or just five to be safe but if you can but it really shouldn't be too difficult you should be able to finish all of this um, with no problem let's see special appraisal I have not unlocked that yet yeah so before this video ends we're gonna see we're gonna see if we can try and do this try and finish this daily because this is interesting what they did. But what we're going to do is that we're going to go to the shop now. Now, when you first, you know, when you first sign into the game, the number of tasks that you can do is the number of tasks that you can do is you do your simulations first and then you go to the shop. Why do we go to the shop? Because what they do is that they have a daily store here. Now, Um, when you're first starting out, you know, maybe, maybe you don't want to try and do this yet because, you know, you have so much stuff that you want to do, you know, leveling up your units. So what I could suggest to you, cause it does give you a lot of good stuff, but as you progress through the game, the credits are no longer going to be like, really be a problem. And you're going to be able to easily acquire more credits because you're going to be you're going to be crushing the the you know the the challenges and the events and the side missions and all that stuff and then you can continuously farm them and you could get credits so once you reach that level you can just easily spend this out so what i'm going to suggest is that maybe you could probably leave this shop alone you can leave this shop alone until all of your units which is i'm not saying like all in your roster but all that's in your squad all at least have those units at level 100 and 
there's something I want to check because they prob it probably won't let you do that. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Let's do this. We could always use some more credits. Right, so make sure you, you also get your, what is it, your stars all the way up because it does cost credits. And this will also cost credits. But, but does the skill, that's what I was wondering, what, does the skill, no it doesn't. Okay, this is good. Okay, so, so the salary and the enhanced unit are what's going to cost you credits. So what I suggest is you get all of your all of your main units up to level 100 and also with six stars now i know it may take a little bit of time and whatnot but it's always it's always good to just at least do that because then you'll have um a higher farming capability and then you can start purchasing things within the within that daily shop but just for you know just for the video, let's go to the shop. So what I normally like to do is I don't like spending any quartz that's on here because most most times it's not really worth it unless unless you get like this, like 24 and this ends up being like a blue ticket, you know, like one of those blue tickets that you use to to roll for an SSR and it has like a price like this. Then yeah, I suggest that you know maybe you want to get this because I mean you gotta think of it like this: like this game is like a mercenary company game, and you are the head honcho who pretty much owns a company. <laughs> so you gotta treat it as such sometimes, where you just gotta see, determine, oh, you know which ones are rip off and which ones not. You know, in this case, I'm going to purchase all of the ones that are for credits only. That's usually what I usually do. When I go in, when I first go into the, when I first sign into the game, you do your simulations, you go do your dailies, you do your dailies in the shop. You know, you buy up things in the shop because they got some pretty good deals and your resources can build up pretty fast when you don't think about it. Now, when you first purchase all of these, right, guess what? It has a remaining count of five. So that means that every 15, you could, you could do this five times because it costs you 15 quarts. And you could do this five times. Ooh. Okay, so this is exactly what I'm saying. If you get if you get things like this, that's pretty dope. And you know, couldn't hurt to do that, because you I mean the game is gonna give you a lot more chords. You know what? I'll just do this one more time. Let me try one more time. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's an interesting one. Though I wouldn't do this. Like, this is a perfect example. What I mean, like, oh, what's a ripoff? Things like this. <laughs> 360 cores for one fusion core. That's madness. Don't do this. Don't ever purchase something like this. This is not a good deal at all. Now, if it was like 10 fusion cores, eh, maybe, maybe, but... I would probably say maybe, you know, if it was like 160 quarts, 410 fusion cores, that would be a much better deal. But yeah, this is a perfect, this is a perfect example of this. And yeah, this looks nice and all like 10 for 29, but don't let these entice you because you, you don't really, you, you always, there's always a better way to get more of these type of materials. And these are, these are pretty nice, but I don't want to spend any more credits because we need those credits to level up. But yeah, we could talk more about the shop later on as, you know, as this account progresses. So let's see what the missions are. And as you can see, our Eternium is pretty much rotting, which we don't want that to happen. So we probably should do a mission to get that down.
Ah, now, what I'm going to do too is, so we have the anniversary mission, correct? Right? So, this is what we're going to do. Always be sure to, um, so let me exit out of this. Always be sure to do this too, to go into here. Why? Because this also has special missions for whatever event is happening. So always make sure to get these. And this is the festival. So this is where you get your awakened selector. So you want to make sure you do these. Use 100 high appraisals. What are the high appraisals? Those are those are the materials that you use to level up your units. And look how easy it was that we ended up getting we ended up using 100. You know, you end up using a lot of stuff when you don't think about it. <laughs> and now we got to perform five limit breaks. So the limit breaks is basically the stars on the unit that I was mentioning before. And we have to upgrade those stars. So we just got to upgrade. We just pretty much got to upgrade one or two units and we'll be able to co easily complete this. The basic training data, that was basically the skills that we used. So that was the materials that we used to upgrade the skills of the unit. Now, to perform the world map dispatch missions. So this is going to be an interesting one. I'm going to see if they'll let us do that. And the simulations, that's why I said, do your simulations every single day. You can easily get this amount. Even without me having, even without you guys using the courts, because I know I, I ended up using the courts for that, just so an example, but even without those courts, we will still be able to reach this here. You don't have to rush anything with this because what'll happen is um, once the second week activates, this will still be available because you still have to complete all of these in order to get the ultimate rewards here at the bottom. So just um, what I could say is that, you know, because it is 22 days left right there, you don't have to rush, you don't got to panic. Just take your time and just, what's the word I'm looking for? Just um, keep an eye on this. <laughs> keep an eye on this and stay on top of it, you know? and participate in raids so the world map is where we're going to get our raids and they show up pretty quickly now that's another thing about the raids and hold on before i even talk about that the total if eternium so this this is where you're going to start using you're going to start deciding where you want to spend your eternium like what missions you want to spend your eternium in when you're farming because farming specific materials is going to require Eternium. So just make sure, like I was saying before, don't let your Eternium rot. Because this will be, it'll make things harder to complete these when you let your Eternium rot. So try to stay on top of this. And as you can see here, they're going to give us another free unit when you reach a specific amount. But you, ooh, ooh, excuse me. But you don't have to, um, you don't got to really worry, you don't really have to think too much about this, because if you're, if, once you're constantly farming and spending Eternium, this is like second nature, this is, this will, you'll, you'll be spending millions of these without even thinking about it. <laughs> so, but, um, yeah, this is where you're going to do your missions for the anniversary that's out right now, the, uh, 1.5 anniversary. So, yeah, make sure you do all of these, please do all of these because this will help you out and this will give you a selector one that you yourself can pick okay so let me see can we go into the world map will they let us oh yeah we could okay so this is going to be interesting okay so they're going to let us buy it right okay nice so we did get a branch right got an appoint a leader okay so 
What you could do is that you could easily just replace units right here. What I normally like to do is replace them with awakens or just another powerful unit. Because what will happen is when you do raids, whichever section that the raid is showing up in, <clears throat> the branch manager will act as an extra support that doesn't cost you any deployment costs. So this unit will basically be summoned for free once it reaches the um, once it finished loading in. So the character will will start loading in on a timer. They'll be on the timer. When the timer runs out for them, then you can deploy them, and it'll be completely free of charge. Now, as you can see, you have all these things here where you can establish branches and stuff. What I suggest, never use quartz to do this. Always use your credits. That's important because you never you never need to use quartz in order to get these branches. So just use this for your branches. The credits instead. Spend the credits. Okay, and let's push Shifu. Let's see, can I do another one? No, because I have to be a level 25. Okay. And what do you have to be a level 25 of? Well, you gotta be a level 25 here. This is your company, your company level. Now, what's the best way to level this up? Well, do missions. However, what I can suggest to you guys is, you see how you get event missions like this? This is a nice little secret here. Well, not really a secret, but it's a nice technique. So, let's go to substream. Or pretty much, hold on. I don't even need to do that. Let's go here. Oh, okay. You got to finish the act too. Okay. So w when you do like missions like these, because these are like, you know, like event missions or substreams. But when you do substream missions, most times, well, sometimes, if not most, you can just farm these missions and they will give you a ton of XP. Like you will level up so fast when doing the substream missions. Not the main substreams, but the substream missions themselves, because they give you they give you a lot of stuff, and each and every one of those substreams, they have a shop that you can also purchase and and whatnot. And not only that, but I think they give you a little bit more credits if you have like a um a large enough amount of the Eternium you definitely get a, a huge amount of the credits. Let's see, is this the request section? Yeah, and the growth. Okay, but anyways, um, let's go back to the world map. Okay, so the world map is also going to be a nice place for you to get extra materials, such as these. This is a pretty, this is pretty good to get, and also these are pretty good to get if you are a free to play. Now, this does take up. Th these are meant to, I guess you could say, you're having your your employees work for you during real time. So you'll put these up. For about, and this is literally eight hours. This is eight hours, not in game, but real life eight hours. So, you know, you just set these up real quick. And hmm, which one do I want? You know, I'm not really worried about this because we're going to get, we're, we're already getting rewarded with so much of these already. So, it really shouldn't be an issue. Ugh, really shouldn't be an issue. But we're going to get uh, mining support. Mm. So we're going to use this here. Now, the branch facilities. These are important as well. 
Now, which one of these are, which one of these should you get? Well, what I can suggest is, so for the, like the credits from the dispatch missions, it's, I mean, you really don't really, you don't really need this. It's really not necessary because you, you're, you're going to be getting credits. You're going to be getting so much credits from other, other avenues within the game when you're like farming specific missions and you'll get way more than what this can provide eternium it's the same thing you don't it's really not a big deal you don't really need it the info i mean at this not really because i mean you do it's like you you get a lot of info but you just got it's all and also so long as you like manage it properly you should be fine I mean on my main account I still don't have a problem with my info on there so I'm I have a pretty good amount of it now the PR department this is an it this is a real I'd suggest like this is a good one this is a good one because it has a chance for a high-class dispatch mission and when you get further into the end game, this will definitely come in handy. Do you need to get it right now? I mean, not at the moment, no, but actually, hold on, let me see something. Yeah, dispatch missions, a chance of appearing, yeah. Then a chance of a dive, and the dives are basically like uh, another source of missions that you could complete. Which it, it kind of is end game, but it also gives you some really good materials when you come when you fir when you first clear it. So when you clear it the first time, you'll get those extra materials. And here's the chance of a raid. Same thing here. So these are a nice set of things that you can get. Now, how do you rank up? Well, you rank up by getting these missions done. So this is definitely like a, a marathon type thing. And we'll just have them do what, what they do. And then when it's done, you'll get the XP for it. And these will eventually rank up. <sighs> oh man, I'm yawning a lot. <laughs> But yeah, those were those were the things that I definitely wanted to show you guys. This was definitely what I wanted to let you know about, and I, I definitely wanted to talk about those other things that I ended up missing. Well, the the other things that I ended up having to cut out into the last video. <laughs> so I, I hope you guys have all the, the necessary information that you got from here. And what I'm going to do for this part, this will be a fourth part. So then the next part, we're going to actually start progressing through the story. And yeah, we're going to try and uh, get this out. Oh, look at that. Oh, we got a, uh, we got a new ship. On two world map branches. Nice. So this is where you get your one of your ships, um, the purple ships. And I, in, in the next video, I'm going to talk about though that one and which ones you should choose. And yeah, and in the next video, we're going to be completing this. We're going to see if we can complete this daily before it expires. But yeah, so let's just uh, go back to what we were saying before. You do your dailies, do your simulation missions. Do your daily missions on the counter pass. And when you've reached a certain level, you can uh, you can go into the daily shops. You can go into the daily shop and you can get all that fruit, all of that uh, nice set of materials that cost credits. But remember, have at least your main squad 
uh, at full uh, level 100 and having your your limitation stars all the way maxed out at least have I'd, I'd say at least have four of your units with the you know with the full stars and um, the rest of your squad can be like you know maybe have at least four of them at level 100 and then the others can be like around maybe level 70 maybe 70 or 80 just to be safe because it you know the higher level that your units are and the more efficient that they are you be able to complete a lot of things with that you could complete a lot of challenges but um yeah i hope this video was very helpful for you guys and if you did find it useful feel free to leave a like if you didn't find it useful feel free to leave a dislike um yeah so next up so the next part we're definitely going to be tackling this content on here and yeah start progressing <laughs> but uh yeah guys Till next time, catch you later, and remember, don't fear the reaper.